Mm-hmm. I really appreciate the knowledge that you give. And that's why it's an honor to have you here. And when you got brought up recently, it was because I was talking about a nameless, faceless YouTuber who purports to be a black woman, but in actual fact is a transgender white uh, male, born a male, but is actually living as a white woman, but on the internet is pretending to be a black woman. And this is actually verified and shout out to Bomb Cherry who has a a video on this. Um, So a lot of folks have actually found this out, but long story short, we're not going to say the person's name. We just going to call him Jeffrey X or uh, Transica X um, is out here talking reckless. So we going to, we got a lot of stuff going on. You are not going to do the, you are not getting ready to start off like this. Already. We're going to okay. start just super chat because this is Good. respect right here. Okay. Baller. Oh, that's the <laughs> that's baller the- alert. <laughs> we got some classy people in the building. Shout out to Danica Marie. Dope Discussions just comes in, setting it off, showing a good example. I appreciate that. That's love. Absolutely. We're going to set it off. We have Alex in a cash app. This question is for Danica. He said, Danica, does a man look weak taking his ex back? It depends on the severity of why he left in the first place, uh, in the first place. Like if, if it was uh, on the grounds of her just flat out disrespecting you and not trying to get in alignment with you and so on and so forth, and you're trying to beg her to get back with you, yes. But if you feel like it was something that was on some petty grounds or petty terms of uh, not being together, then no. You know, Especially if that woman is trying to uh get on your program now if she's making the proper adjustments and changes now and you're seeing these things like she's actively displaying to you that she is trustworthy or she is worthy enough for you to take her back no it's only weak when you're taking back a woman that is not trying to be the best foot the best fitting woman for you in the first place you know and i see a lot of my brothers do that a lot you know they just want a woman so bad that they'll deal with anything they'll tolerate anything and that's the reason why a lot of women do not uh try to do better or evolve improve and grow or even respect men because you guys just tolerate whatever just for the sake of having a female so it depends i would say it depends that's so real and what i appreciate about your perspective is that you are a woman and half the time when they're asking for advice sometimes they want to know the true perspective of a female And the sad reality is that we have a lot of folks who purport to be in the manosphere or they purport to be red pill. And what they really are, are actual misogynists. They hate women. They're like, well, you can't take advice from a a gazelle on how to catch a gazelle. When really, no, you don't take advice on how to catch a gazelle from a gazelle, but you'd be wise to understand the thinking of a gazelle, which is to say that we always hear, right? Yeah, which is to say that we always hear that, you know, keep your friends close and your enemies closer, which is the military strategy of understanding the person that you're running strategy against or the person that you're supposed to be managing. So you got to have that information and intel. And that's why I love to be able to get an honest perspective from you and you're straightforward, which is rare among females. Okay, we have Islam sent tuition via Cash App. Anthony Tibbs said, peace to the saints. Peace to the saints. Marcus Otato said, peace to the saints. Thank you to both of you for your time. Question for both of you. Hmm. What traits must a girlfriend slash main girl have before being considered as wife material? She has to be submissive, supportive. Hmm. Um, She has to be somebody that is, of, of course, feminine. Nurturing, understanding, patient, coachable, teachable. If she's embodying those characteristics, yeah, she's wiping material because a lot of uh, females today, they're not trying to um, follow the leadership. And I love that my big brother Marquette said that in the beginning, like, you know, you, you, we, he believes in the patriarchy. He believes in a, a, a woman following the guidance of a man. And so if a woman is ready and willing to do that, oh, yeah she's a keeper because not a lot of women are like that. A lot of women today are strong, independent boss that can, you know, they, they just, they want, uh, they want a weak guy. They want a sugar daddy mm. to take care of them instead of a masculine man that can teach them, guide them, correct them and give them the stability and security that they need. So yeah, I would say a submissive, supportive, coachable, teachable, receptive woman. Mm. That's all gospel right there, you dig? That's some, some realism. 
And the thing I want to add to that from the male perspective is a lot of women out of their mouth will tell you that they're submissive, Mm -hmm. just as a lot of men out of their mouth will tell you that they're an alpha male. But really, you have to observe actions over time. Yes. I hear women say that they're Christians and they got Bible scripture in their Instagram profile, but they also got booty pics all throughout it. And so the actions aren't lining up with the words. So at the end of the day, you'd be wise to take your time to observe that woman and see how she's actually behaving. And I like that piece that Danica mentioned about being coachable, mm-hmm. because sometimes what she may consider submissive might not be submissive to you. And being that you have misalignment in your definitions of how these things play out in the real world, you might have to put her up on game on like, okay, hey, you know, I would prefer that you act out submission in this way. And if she can accept that, then you got yourself a real winner. But sometimes you find that that's when you realize that they're combative, when you actually start to put them on your version of submission and your version of, you know, what a good woman is. Moon Bentley said peace to the saints. Peace to the saints. And Clarence is back. He said, I think the problem is that 80% of the women want 20% of the top tier guys instead of going after a regular guy. When they can't attain him, they become depressed. What are your thoughts of that one? My thoughts are this. And again, it's, it's true to that. Like, yeah, it is a lot of truth to that. You know, you do have a lot of women that maybe don't even qualify for the top 20% that are trying to get with those guys. You know what I mean? And and again, women can get so offended by that, but that's the truth. Like you have to embody what those type of guys would want, need and desire in a woman. And a lot of us are doing that. But another layer I want to add to that is, and this again, respectfully as a woman, a, a man should always strive to be better, like never settle for being regular. And I feel like a lot of guys today, Marquette, and again, it's no shade to anybody. I got, I got to be real, though. A mm-hmm. lot of guys, they just want to be regular and have a woman essentially settle for them instead Ooh. of just continuing to evolve and grow and be the man that is that top tier guy that they can have his pick. And mm-hmm. so that's the dilemma that I see on both sides. That's some real wisdom. And I'll even share when I was 15 years old, I remember I was at this, this dance. I was with this bad female, super bad and had to be the baddest chick there. And we're there. And this one cat comes in super diesel football playing, looking cat posture was looking phenomenal. And I was talking to the homie next to me. I'm so it's me, the homie next to me and this chick on my other side. I'm like, kind of like slouched. And then she turned to me and like elbowed me. She's like, sit up straight. And then I I was kind of like, what? And then I looked around. I saw this cat looking like a damn statue. And I realized that she was saying like, present yourself right. Like if I'm going to be with you, like you need to be something to be with. Right. And I think that was like the realest stuff. And I never forgot that because at the end of the day, you know, I've always been a cat that felt like I was the top dog. I don't care how tall, buff, diesel or who you think you are. You ain't the big homie. Period. Yeah. And I always felt that way. And every man should. And that's why I know that the people who are so excited to call someone a narcissist, they don't have self-belief. I want you yeah. all to believe in yourself. I want you all to look in the mirror and see beauty. I want you all to think that you're the man and be trying to make that real. So I agree with you wholeheartedly. A lot of these guys are, are slacking out here. And Danica says she ain't throwing no shade. Oh, I'm absolutely throwing shade. Because <laughs> I want you to know that if you ain't going to be a winner, somebody got to be a loser. So the winners, we thank you. Uh, you dig. Okay, we have B2 said, what are some examples of corrections, things your husband taught you? Peace to the saints. Um, I was very selfish, very stubborn. Um, very much so the type of female that felt entitled like a lot of us do. And he had to really check me on a lot of those behaviors. You know, I, I, for example, when I first started getting, when I first started talking to my husband, like he's very much so into like fitness and health and stuff of that sort. And me being the entitled woman that I was or young lady that I was, I felt like the man should have placed me at the center of his universe. And I, he had to correct me and say, no. Uh, a woman is never supposed to be the center of a man's universe. I'm supposed to build. Um, and if I'm focused on you, how can I build? How can I make sure that I'm doing what I need to do if I'm neglecting self 
to revolve around you. And so um, he would spend a lot of his time like reading books and going to the gym and working out. And I'm like, dude, you, you need to be catering to me. Stop going to the gym so much. Spend all your time with me. And it was a lot of those things that he had to like correct and like, no, I have to take care of myself. If I can't take care of myself, how therefore, how can I take care of anything, including you or the things around me if I'm not solidified? And so mm-hmm. that is one of the, the major things that my husband had to correct with me as far as just feeling like as the woman, his world should revolve around me. You know, he has to put me first and a man should never do that you know mm-hmm. and i and I, I noticed that now i've learned that now like if a, when a man puts a woman first and allows her to be the focal point or the center or he starts to allow her to lead and all of that it usually falls apart it usually crumbles and in addition to that women will lose respect for you because it's not in our natural role to you know be in that position and so we can we can start to view you as weak inferior we can start to emasculate you and ultimately seek out another man that has certain qualities that of a leader of a provider a protector and so on and so forth a teacher most importantly 